Hey guys, it's more Jay to Gavel here, and today I want to let you guys know how to check if your Mac, yes, I did just say Mac, does have the Trojan virus that has been happening lately. Believe it or not, over 600,000 Mac computers worldwide are infected with the um, Trojan virus, and over 57% of them are in the U.S., and 20% of them are in Canada. So, a majority of them are happening in North America, which um, pretty much probably is the majority of my viewer base. So I just wanted to let you guys know so you can make sure you check if you have the virus and if you do get it fixed as soon as possible. Just give you guys some information here about the Trojan virus. It's when a user stumbles on a malicious code on a website. It exploits a vulnerability on a Mac operating system and how it reads the Java programming language. And if the code is on the computer, it actually takes over the administrative um, functions on the Mac and hunts for username and passwords, as well as personal data that you probably don't want shared or anybody else know, some private information. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it about that. My sources are from Yahoo. So let's go ahead and just show you guys what you need to do to check if your computer is infected with the Trojan virus and whether you know um, to get it fixed or not. So, I will be leaving the codes down in the description or the commands you will enter in Terminal. So first off, just open up Terminal, and I'm just gonna co um, copy and paste the first command here. So there you can see it's the first command, and all you're trying to look for here is this line of coding. And as you can see, it says does not exist, which is a good sign, that means there is no Trojan virus as of now but there is a second command that you do want to run um, before you can conclude that your computer is not infected or is. So now it's time to run through the second command in terminal just to make sure my computer is not infected with the Trojan virus. The first passed and as you can see it says does not exist at the last line so let's go ahead and check the second command. I'm going to go ahead and paste the command as I said it will be down in the description below. And as you can see, my computer does not have the Trojan infection here. It says does not exist once again. Um, and now let's just move on to what you do, what should do if your computer is infected with the Trojan, which I hope it isn't. But if your computer is infected by the Trojan virus, the recommended thing to do is to take it to a professional service and get that fixed as soon as possible before more information is accessed or your administrative system is being taken over. Or... If you do not have it, but want to prevent yourself from getting the um, Trojan virus or the infection on your computer, the best thing to do is just keep making sure you check the software updates day by day and make sure your operating system is keeping up with the latest and um, patches that Apple has set out. Because as you know, Apple is trying to um, refresh their system day after day to try and make sure it's still up to date and be able to block the viruses like this. So if you haven't refreshed your software, make sure you go ahead and go to the corner here and just go to software update and it'll check for any latest updates. And most of the time I will just um, install all the new updates that are from Apple. So yeah, that's what I recommend. I hope this tutorial helped you. I'll see you in my next video.